Okay, so this is dialysis tubing. We want to pull off 20 centimeters or so and cut it. Now, when it's dry, it's not very useful. So then put it in distilled water and let it soak for about five minutes. Okay, so the tubing's been soaking for a while. You see it's much more pliable. So we want to take one end, bunch it up, and very carefully tie a knot in the end. Try not to, you don't want to rip the tubing. You want to get it nice and secure. Now take the other end and roll it between your fingers until it opens up. Okay, here I have a solution of molasses and distilled water. You can see the dark coloring. So I'm going to take this pipette and I'm going to put several mils into the dialysis tube. And everyone asks how many mils and I don't have an exact answer but you want to get it about half full but we don't need it to be completely full until it's bursting. And that looks pretty good right there. Now we want to hold on to this. This might take two people. Get a nice long piece of string, again about 20 centimeters or so. And somewhere above the level of the molasses solution, take one end of the string and tie the tubing shut leave the long end of the string hanging because we're going to need that to pick up the dialysis tube later. So now we've got the molasses in the tube. Kind of flip it back and forth and it looks like it's sealed very well. The ends need to be sealed tight so that molasses doesn't leak out. This looks really good. Now we want to take a paper towel and blot it dry. Just roll it back and forth in your towel a little bit. And now our tubing is ready to go into our jar. Okay, now that we have sealed both ends of our dialysis tube, we need to weigh it. Of course, turn the balance on. We want to have some kind of a tray to set the dialysis tubing in. This is a top of a petri dish. So we'll set that on there, but of course we don't want to include the weight of the tray. So once it settles down a little bit, we'll hit the zero button or the tear button, and now it should reset back to zero. And so that's removed the weight of that tray. So now when we put this in, we're just getting the weight of the dialysis tube. So carefully set that in the center. Make sure you put the string all in the tray as well. And then record the weight to at least one-tenth of a gram, if not two-tenths of a gram. If the, th if the third digit, if the thousandth of a gram is bouncing around, don't worry about that so much. We don't need to be that precise in this lab. Once you have your weight, record it. Then pick up your dialysis tube. And you've got a jar which has distilled water in it. Drop that down, hang the string on the outside so you've got something to grab, and start your timer. We'll come back in five minutes, pull this out, blot it dry, and weigh it. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I want to get my first weight. So I'm just going to pull the dialysis tube out, and I want to try and blot it as well as I can to get the excess water from the outside off. And of course, 
again, zero out the weight of the tray and just get another weight. And once you have this weight, record that and put the tubing right back into the jar and start your timer. We're going to wait another five minutes. Then we're going to do this several times um, for about a half of an hour. So you want to get about six weighings on each of your tubes before you're done. Okay, so we've weighed the tube several times. So I'm going to pull it out and uh, I can go ahead and weigh that one more time. I'm not going to show that. But since we're done, you don't want to discard this water just yet. We're not done with it. You want to take some of this iodine and we want to add five drops of iodine to this jar. Now, this is what you to be real careful with because this stuff will stain everything. So we just go one, two, three, four, five or so. And then you can put your lid on the jar and over a sink, give it a little shake to mix it, and then wait a few minutes and look for a color change.